almost too safe. Huh? Navia? Where did the other two go? I sent them back to Poisson. It's Spina de Rosula's place of origin, and where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Paimon gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. But never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I did some investigating yesterday regarding the name Vache. Wait, so you didn't sleep at all? <laughs> How could I after having such critical new evidence appear? Uh, guess Paimon wasn't speaking for everyone just now, huh? <sighs> Unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. Oh. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. But that does prove that this Vache person is a key witness in the incident. Does that mean we're too late, though? No. There is one ray of hope. One place in Fontaine that they would find almost impossible to threaten, no matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief Justice Nouvellette, a place where detailed files on all the cases in recent years are kept. If the Oceanet you met is one of the young women who went missing recently, we should be able to find some related information there. So Nouvellette maintains an archive of case files? Whew, guess that's the hard-working Chief Justice for you. In that case, let's go talk to him, shall we? Um... Hmm? Aren't you coming along, Navia? Did you get tired? Uh, no, it's nothing. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. State your business here. The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. Huh. This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalette's files are really secure. Hey, don't you recognize us? Huh? Who are you? Just to be clear, <clears throat> I don't care who you are or who you might be related to. Our rules make no exceptions. See? They've got great discipline, too. Yep, yep. Paimon can tell. If you're here just to crack jokes, I can point you towards the exit. Unlike some, we're busy. So please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. Uh, no, no. What I meant to say is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? We were at the trial of the great magician Linny. Oh, oh, yes, I remember. I read about it in the Steambird. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. It's all coming back to me now. We're here today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh, is that even a thing? Hmm. Of course. Don't worry, we're here on official business. You can trust us. All right then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. Ah, oh, thanks so much. Please come in. It's all right. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. Uh, so you're not mad at us? We are looking for a man called Vache. He may have been an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information on the case. Ah, I see. 
In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse through the files. Who knew that Nevelette would be so easy to talk to? Unfortunately, I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case, criminal or civil, in the past several years. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. Traveler, what if it was really just a dream? Is that so? All right then. Thank you so much, Monsieur Neuvillette. We'll take our leave now. Ahem. Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. We deeply regret his passing. Hmm. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Novillette? Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just express some tendril of regret? No. You are not trying to do any of that. I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. <sighs> I'm sorry, Miss Navia. You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. Are you okay? I'm fine. Huh. Rain. It's raining. You're right. Wasn't it still sunny when we went into the building? And there shouldn't be any active trials today. How strange. Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder, it was also raining. What is it? Did you think of something? Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that. But didn't find anything of value. Oh? Wait. Uh, you don't mean... So you're saying 
that the true murderer could have been turned into water and then got washed away with the rain? Yeah, and if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities. I really think I found a true genius for a partner. <laughs> You're completely right. How did I not connect the dots earlier? All right, let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for sure. Yeah, we're going to make progress for sure this time. Do you want to go with me now? Or do you want to head over by yourself later? Great, let's go then. to be so surprised. While it may look like a ship, it's actually Spina di Rosula's headquarters. My father was the one who asked for it to be built like this. Perhaps our taste in exterior design is the only thing we occasionally had in common. A gigantic and glamorous ship embodies discovery, opportunity, ambition, and conquest. It symbolizes Spina di Rosula's bright and limitless future. And Paimon thought you were bluffing when you said Spina di Rosula had a glorious past. Paimon was confused why a group with such a history would live in the sewers. But now that Paimon has seen this ship for herself, she's been convinced. Well, Poisson is where Spina di Rosula began, after all. It's our main base, our home. We're back! Apologies for the wait, Demoiselle, and our most important partners. You said before that you still had some business at the court. What brings you back to Poisson so quickly? Uh, about that. It's because my partner here reminded me of something really important. You see, what if my father's case had something to do with water from the Primordial Sea? You still remember, right, Malus? On that night, it was raining? Yes, the case was quite similar to that of Mr. Linney's. Both were what you'd call impossible murders. Could you tell us a bit more about what happened before? Yeah, of course. Many years ago, something called synth began to gain popularity in Poisson. At a glance, it was a kind of drink that could excite your mood and produce many pleasant hallucinations. Wait! Didn't that guard guy who turned into water also mention that the primordial water could be used to produce some kind of potion? Yes, he did. Considering what we know now, it's almost certain that synth is created using water from the primordial sea. If you drink synth for an extended amount of time, you'll suffer many side effects, such as losing the ability to focus, or control your emotions. And if you were to stop drinking it completely, you'll experience flashes of paranoia and anxiety while lacking energy to do anything. It's an extremely dangerous substance. As he oversaw Poisson, my father was compelled to put a stop to synth abuse and called for a complete ban of it. 
Boss's uncompromising attitude incurred the synth vendor's wrath, but no matter how much they threatened or bribed him, he refused to yield. Not only that, Boss became determined to find the mastermind behind the synth operation and put an end to the problem once and for all. Yes, but the enemy was very cunning. <laughs> so he could never get anything out of the dealers, all of whom only sold the stuff and weren't privy to the rest of the operation. Recognizing that, my father decided to contact the dealers in secret and cultivate personal relationships with them. Finally, he was able to convince someone to become his informant. The man's name was Jacques. He felt greatly ashamed about his work after seeing many families destroyed by synth abuse. That night, my father hosted a banquet at his countryside estate. He planned to meet up and exchange information with Jacques over some food. But then, we heard two gunshots from the courtyard. We raced to the scene and found my father, still holding a gun, and Jacques, who was already dead on the ground. Huh? How did that happen? Aren't they on the same side? Sounds just like Lenny's case, doesn't it? In both cases, the culprit seemed obvious, but neither appeared to have any motive at all. Looking back on it, though, I now believe the most important clue was something we all overlooked at the time. There were pieces of clothing left at the scene. Precisely. It's all thanks to you that I made the connection now. Back then, we all just thought they were some costumes that Jacques used to disguise himself at the banquet. But, considering it now, it's almost certain that they belong to a third person at the scene. With one extra person, we'll also need to reconsider why the two shots were fired. You're right. We still don't know what happened. But my intuition tells me that we're on the right track to figuring it all out. <sighs> I'm finally headed towards the truth. Jacques was an empathetic man, who was infinitely remorseful for his past actions. It's unlikely that he turned on Boss with zero warning. I think this third person is probably the key to the full truth. On that note, however, even though this will not please you, demoiselle, as you're and your father's butler, I must still offer a word of warning. Our opponent is insidious and cruel. They are extremely difficult to deal with, and Boss has already lost his life trying to bring them to justice. Even though Spina de Rosula has lost most of its former glory, Poisson has welcomed a new time of peace, and we have been allowed to live out our lives. There is no need to follow your father's plan. It would be both wise and in line with Boss's wishes to step back and give up on the case. If that's indeed what he wished for, then he should have told me that himself. Was I not the closest person to him? And yet, I was the one most kept in the dark. What was the point of him dying without sharing any of the secrets he knew? Did he manage to protect anything in the end? Synth is still here. Callus the Unfaithful is still his epithet. And Spina di Rosula is barely getting by. Nothing has changed. Did he think I'd just accept his meaningless death and live out my life just as meaninglessly? I've never accepted that, ever. Not since that day, and certainly not now. I want to find out the real answer for everyone's sake. For the missing girls, for the victims, and for myself. Navia. This is indeed the best moment to act. Your partner appears to be quite reliable, and more importantly, Demoiselle, I think you're also ready to take this on. So you do know something else, Malus? Yes, I do. In fact, even before that banquet, Boss already knew of the connection between Synth and the Serial Disappearances case. But what drove all the tensions to the boiling point was the revelation that you, Demoiselle, had been selected as the next target to disappear. What?